I must say I had pretty happy childhood. I was born as one of three kids. I have older brother and younger sister. I was always this middle chain in my family and my childhood was pretty happy. I was from the early years, I was always drawn to art and theater and music and, and luckily my parents allowed me to enjoy it and express it. My parents were never involved politically but later on when I grew up I realized what kind of country I lived in. You know, it was socialism country. I'm the last generation you know, of kids before the wall collapsed and Cold War. So when I was a teenager actually I experienced, you know, Cold War in Poland and the state of war. I saw tanks, you know, and police and soldiers on the streets, you know. My childhood when I was 14, that's when Lech Valenza was our solidarity president and all that fight happened, political fight. When I joined the scouts or was touring with or performing with my high school theaters and groups later in college that, you know, getting visas to go to Western countries and to go anywhere. You needed, you know, your city government permission. You had to go to pick up your passports and then return them after your trip to the embassy. I started um, my ballroom career. I was in my high school and I was selected to be right away in that competitive group of ballroom teenage dancers. And pretty soon I was on the top of my field and that's when I did all the international traveling and competing around the country and other countries. And then when I was 22, I actually auditioned for the very first professional modern dance company in my country. And that's when I realized that in Poland until then, all we had, we had folk dance, ballet dance, and ballroom dance and none of the Western form of arts were basically allowed or popular. And then with my Polish company actually, because by then the political status and you know things changed in Poland, the borders opened and socialism was gone. And so we were allowed to tour and see. So I toured quite a lot, you know, with my Polish company, but you know, I, w I wanted more. I wanted more for myself. And I was still the starving artist, you know, starving for new experiences, new challenges in my life, you know. And that's when I realized after touring a few times, you know, to different countries, and I was in the United States a few times by then, I realized that what's the best place to explore what I was doing, which is modern dance. And if I wanted to learn it or experience any style of dance I want, you know, from Broadway jazz, from musical television and, you know, exploring different styles of modern dance, that's America was the land that created it all, you know, where it was all born, you know, that's where Balanchine came, that's where, you know, all these other artists, you know, came here too and where Baryshnikov flew, you know, and career change. So we all, you know, from Eastern Europe countries, we hope, of course, it will be maybe our chance, our future. And I must say, luckily, you know, I achieved, you know, sometimes people ask me if I have dreams, what I dreamed, and I can say all of my dreams came true. I told my parents, I just want to go to the United States to see how it is to live in America, you know. I said, because I've been here for three months, for a month, but I wanted to see what American life as an artist is. So at Christmas dinner, I said, you know, I'm just going to check for a year what it is to live in America. This year, it's my 17th year.